that all eyes on me is on that album. Yeah. That's not the song, but I know what you mean. Shit, I'll play this one too. This is like the interlude. And that house song that switches to dubstep song? Yes, it is. And it's a single. There's some gabber, there's some gabber, it's like hardcore. It's just like a it's like the ad that I posted before. But yeah, then that and then it turns into Sounds like a Motorola. Sounds like it's coming from a Motorola. I rendered it really low quality, like 64K. 
kilobits or 120 some eight or something i don't know but it sounds really cool and it's like really distorted it kind of sounds like shit but i really like it because a lot i, I wanted to ha have like texture you know what i mean like different textures in it like and i feel like that's such an interest interesting way to add texture to a song because most people go the lo-fi route of like lo-fi hip-hop or something you know what i mean but like i was thinking more like digital lo-fi like you know what i mean like some shit that like it's like when a song gets like re-uploaded like ten thousand times and it's just like sounds like horrible you know what i mean because i used to listen to a lot of music like that on my on my mp3 player <laughs> when i would steal shit so it kind of reminded me of that a little bit like like finding like a random song in like a mix or something like because i mean like that's that's another thing like the it's meant to be listened to as a mix like the, the 10th track is like a like a continuous like mix it's just like it just plays throughout and there's like you know like little skits or whatever just transitions for for some of the songs um it's cause i want it to be kind of like a dj mix you know what i mean like some like old shit you would like find in your like fucking like parent cd collection like i don't know some shit like that and then also like the like the theme of the like art and stuff of the album and like um like the first song uh oxygen i thought of like just like futuristic drugs like like an inhaler or some shit that's like adrenaline you know what i mean and you just like hit it and you're just like fucking like up like some like like the like shit from mad max where they like spray their face or like in cyberpunk they literally have one that's like that that's like you know, when you when you have to you have to like negotiate with those robot people with the, with the weird, I don't know if anybody's played it, but with the like red eyes and the guy like offers you th to hit it, like that shit. I was thinking about that. And then I, can I, cause I was also just thinking like, that's like a really cool sound to use like in a song, like just cause it's really like satisfying, like a, like an inhaler, or like an oxygen tank kind of thing. So yeah, that's like the, the idea behind it. Um, and it's just like, it's just, it just goes, you know what I'm saying? That there's no, there's, it's all gas, no brakes. It does, you know, it doesn't slow down until the end. You know what I mean? Uh, until then, it's just literally, it's just meat. Like there's no long instrumental fucking things with no drums. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like it's just constant, constant meat. You know what I mean? And then there's like some EDM, like pure like EDM shit, like, like no vocals like type shit I'll just play like a little clip I'm not gonna play the whole thing cause I don't wanna spoil it but. and it's like Yo, puzzle is not me. Oh my god, I can't believe, uh, bro. All right, I'm gonna just tell y'all something. Like, I'm gonna just keep it a thousand with you. Like, I really hate Spotify. I really don't want to upload shit to Spotify anymore because I'm so sick and tired of the lack of security. I'm so sick of the the lack of accountability. I'm gonna I'm gonna just read you guys something real quick before I go. Um, I'm kind of. And I, I, I don't want anybody to take this th take this the wrong way, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm just trying to make the smart move. I'm not going to, I'm not exa exactly positive if I'm going to drop the song, the acoustic song today. I'm just kind of like, you know, I'm, I'm trying to be smart and I'm trying to like, you know what I'm saying? I, I go back and forth in my head, you know what I'm saying? This is just how I am. Um, you will know if it's out. And if it's not today, it'll probably be tomorrow. Cause I, I, I might want to wait until you know what I mean. Like at least like like say that I'm gonna drop it today. Like post that I'm gonna drop it um, today. Like I'm gonna drop it tomorrow today, so people know. So it's not just.
know her. I'd never t talk to her in my life. And I, uh, on what goes on their Spotify, if somebody decides it or anything else, and then put your name in the thing because it, it just doesn't know how. To, I don't know what the fuck kind of stupid system these streaming services have because like I fuck with them because they pay more and like whatever. But it's even harder to get in contact with them. I don't even know how to get shit taken down there. Um, but, um, there's no, there's no two factor authentication because they have fucking bot farms and fucking phone farms, like farming streams and like printing money out of thin air. You should watch a video about it. I highly suggest that if you don't, if you don't know about this, I, oh shit, I highly suggest that you, um, look into it because it's really interesting and it's very much so in plain sight and it's so crazy to me how nothing happens about this um spotify's investor owns this stock music company pretty much where you know artists can get you know their music is like stock music and like you know it's like royalty free shit that anybody can use and you know they get paid for it, whatever blah 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 but that company that invests in that company also invests in spotify put two and two together you know what i mean like th th there's obviously something weird going on and i'm not a fucking conspiracy theorist you could look into this shit it's out there you know what i'm saying and this shit is ridiculous because the people that suffer the most are people like me and my friends and my peers you know what i'm saying because i don't have a label that knows fucking Joe at Spotify that can be like, oh, yep, take this shit down and have it down in a day. I gotta do the fucking thing, same thing that everybody. They don't even know, you know what I'm saying? And like that one song, one song that confuses music ever again. Like that's how serious this shit is. You know what I mean? People don't understand that. That like, like that's the way I am. Like if I was on somebody, somebody's artist page and I saw some like, and I heard some song that didn't sound like them and I thought it was really weird, I'd be a little bit weirded out too. You know what I'm saying? That's just like a normal, like human response. But like, it's ridiculous how there's nothing protecting you for this. So I, t I sent them a message and I was like, you guys are like literally the worst. Like. You're fucking my shit up. Like, I I've been fucking using your service for years. You know what I'm saying? And it it's like, it doesn't even matter. This is the message they sent back to me. Hey, Gianni, thank you for bringing this to our attention. Could you give us a screenshot of those upcoming releases you see on your end? We also need you to let us know the username or email address, blah, 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 whatever. Which is bullshit because, so I can see when somebody's about to upload something on my Spotify, in my Spotify for Artists account. I can see it but I can't get it taken down until it comes out. So I sent him this message and that song went up because you can't get it taken down until it's up. So it's like, what is the point? You know what I'm saying? Like, the, it's fucking stupid. So and then they said, as a bit of info, we're afraid we're unable to prevent this from happening as it's possible for multiple artists to share the same artist's name. This means content belonging to another artist can get added to your profile. If the artist doesn't tell their distributor where to put their music, that is fucking stupid. We always recommend artists work with their distributors to ensure correct artist profiles are claimed and all the metadata is correct. We understand it's frustrating when someone else's music ends up on your profile, but rest assured, we're always here to get things fixed up if it happens again. This is the 1,000th time this has happened. Like, it's bullshit. It's, it's literally bullshit. It's so stupid. Like, what is this? Like, what does that even mean? Yeah, like, imagine, like, di <laughs> imagine this, right? You get a text message when somebody uploads something to your Spotify. Is this you? Yes or no? You get an email. Is this you? Yes or no? How, you wanna know why they won't do that? It's because they have bots and shit on fucking mainstream artists streams you think that artists are so much bigger than they actually are and it's cap it's a fucking lie and it's been happening for mad long the shit was happening on youtube yo i forgot what the video is called but you should look up like the dark i think it's called like the dark 
side of Spotify or something. It's a stupid title, but the video is really fucking good. And it talks about Vivo also because Michael Jackson's Vivo had 14 billion views the day his account was created. Is that not weird? But you got to think people are stupid, especially at that time. People are fucking dumb. They don't know what the fuck is going on. You think Michael Jackson's the biggest artist in the world because it's fake until you make it. They make you think that these artists are really big. So you believe it. So then people want to support it more because they think they're already big and they just want to hop on and support them because it's cool to support them. You know what I'm saying? The shit is literally cap. It's a fucking lie. Everything is a lie. Like, like I, if, if you could think of a, 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 a defense for that, then, you know, like... I, I'll, I'll fucking, I, I don't know what I'll do, you know what I'm saying? But I can't think of any excuse, any defense for some shit like that. And if you think that that shit is not still happening right now on Spotify, which is the most manipulable thing in the fucking world, uh, you got, you know what I'm saying? You gotta, you gotta open up your mind a little bit and do some, and do some reading because this shit's fucked up. It's crazy, you know what I'm saying? And, and this is the shit, this is the shit that makes me not want to be on Spotify. This is the shit that makes me want to just put my own fucking all my music on my own website and you can stream it on my website <laughs> or some shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to have to deal with this. It's so annoying because like I said, the only, the people that suffer the most are people like me that don't have any team behind them that can just be like, hey, 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 Tommy, uh, d can you get the song taken down? You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't have that luxury. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, I don't have the luxury of, of that. I don't have the luxury of, of having connections to f the fucking Spotify people. You know what I'm saying? Like, so... Um, yeah, just a little bit of a tangent there because I thought that that email was hilarious. I thought it was so funny because li they literally said, hey, we're sorry. We can't do anything about this. Like, what do you mean? Like, what, what do you mean you can't do anything about it? Like, of course you can. You just don't want to. Um, it's really stupid. It's really fucking stupid. Yeah, fuck Spotify. Fuck, fuck the CEO, that bald bastard. I'll smack him in the back of the head. You know, <laughs> um, shit, man. I I want to drop this song, but I also want to like be smart. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Make an app for listening to music for artists with your situation. I wish I could, man. I wish I could. You know what I mean? But unfortunately, you know, I'm just not really in the position to do that. I'm like, I'm a be if you want me to be honest with you, I don't want to be in the position to do that. I don't, I don't I'm, I'm okay with how it is now. You know what I'm saying? Because the more you get like bigger and involved in like industry shit and all this shit, the, the more convoluted and like stressful and annoying this shit gets. I actually give a fuck you know what i'm saying of course there's always going to be losers there's always going to be annoying people but for the most part you know i know you guys are some some intelligent individuals like inform your own opinions and can think for yourself and I, i'm very happy about that you know what i'm saying um because there's a lot of freaking idiots out here I think every artist that is affected by this contributes to make a diff app for music. Well, you know, it could be, it could, it could have been SoundCloud if SoundCloud didn't fuck up. <laughs> you know what I mean? It could have been SoundCloud if SoundCloud didn't fuck up because, I mean, you know, now they got the... See, like, that's another thing with, like, Spotify. It's like, why don't they have it so that instead of your subscription being split with every fucking artist in the pool of artists that are uploading music to Spotify, why can't you like do a thing like Twitch where you subscribe to, you could subscribe to somebody on Spotify and that's how you support them. Like, isn't that not like, is that a crazy thing? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, is that like a, like, is that really that out there? Like, I don't think so. Like, I don't think it's that out there. I think that it, that, that makes a lot of sense. I think it makes a lot of sense for, for the fans to be able to choose where their money is going to support their favorite artist. So they can continue doing what they're doing. I, I don't get why that's so difficult. You know what I'm saying? A new type of SoundCloud streaming. I really would love to. You know what I'm saying? Like, I really would. Like, trust me. You know? 
but I just don't, I don't know how, I don't know, you know what I'm saying? Because it's like, also, it's like the ease of use. It's like, I know that there's like, you know, like matter and like some stuff like that. And like, you know, like I fuck with the idea a lot, but it's like, you know, it's got to get to a point where it's accessible. You know what I mean? Like, that's like what I am. And it's unfortunate because Spotify and Apple Music is the most accessible thing you could put your music on, as, as, you know, uh, apart from SoundCloud. You know what I'm saying? So that's just what it is. And it's like, I, you know, they got, they got, they got everybody's arms behind their back, twisting their arm, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, it's annoying, but you know. Hey man, at least they put me on the hyper pop playlist finally. <laughs> oh my fucking god. <laughs> you play R6? I don't know what that is. You mean RE6 or the new, the new Resident Evil? I could be, I could be reading that wrong. Would rather support artists directly. See, like, like, thank you, like, thank you, like, it's not that crazy of a, of a concept of just actually being able to put the money that you're you're fucking paying for the service to put towards the people that you actually listen to instead of every fucking schmuck in the book. Also, tip uh, uh, a little bit of tidbit of information that I forgot um, is that the top one percent of Spotify artists. So I'm talking Justin Bieber, fucking Ariana Grande, whoever the fuck. The biggest, the biggest artist. The biggest artists, like the top 1% of Spotify, all more money because they are getting more streams. How does that make any sense? How does that make any sense? So they get paid a higher percentage because they perform better on the platform. Shouldn't it be, I don't know, the opposite? <laughs> like, shouldn't it be the opposite of like, you know, uh, the artists that kind of like built it and like are, are, you know, pushing music forward and are, are doing new things and are doing different things. And because, you know, all the, the pop people, they're, they're, they're looking at us, you know what I mean? They're, they're looking at the underground trying and getting their ideas. It's very easy to see that, you know what I'm saying? It's not, it's not rocket science. Do you think that Kanye West is inspired by fucking like Ariana Grande or whoever the fuck, you know what I'm saying? I mean, he could be, you know what I'm saying? But like, I, I'm, I'm thinking that, you know, a lot of bigger artists are inspired by smaller artists because the smaller artists are the ones doing the, the heavy lifting. You know what I mean? And, and the fact that, uh, you know, it's just like constantly we, we're getting shitted on is, is really annoying. And, and you know, again, I'm not, I'm not no fucking conspiracy theorist. I'm not no tinfoil hat, anti-vax, whatever. Like, this is not a conspiracy. This is real shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is, this is, it's not a, you literally can look it up. And it's like, not only that, like, there's, the, the shit goes so much like deeper with like YouTube and like all that shit. Like YouTube did a, a, a cleanse of like fake views and like every single major label artist lost like hundreds of millions of views in total because they were fucking fake. Shit fake. Shit, all this shit's fake. But hey man, you know, that's life. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, like, you know. Life is just a life is just a perpetual game of stealing swag, you know, me included. You know, that's just life. Um, but shit. Uh, um, I'm gonna think about putting this song out. If it's out, you'll know it'll be out. Uh, Evo is dropping June twenty eighth. I think I got a single dropping the sixth and the eleventh, or around there, pretty much. Um, I don't know if those are the exact dates because I'm a flipping idiot. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys have a good night. You know what I'm saying? Stay woke. Don't let this bull.